my name is Lindsay Goins. I am the founder of my team, Gracefully Balanced. I am a diamond coach, and today I'm making this video so that I can talk to brand new coaches on my team or coaches that are potentially recommitting and rediving into the community and their business about um, getting started into that process and where your focus should be and not getting overwhelmed. So first and foremost, when you get started and when you recommit, your primary focus needs to be working on yourself and investing in your own journey so that you can share that with others and so that you can talk to people with a personal knowledge and integrity about our products, about the business, um, about joining your team, or getting started in your challenge group. So you need to be drinking your Shakeology, you need to be doing your workouts, you need to be developing yourself personally about 10 minutes a day with some sort of book or podcast. Just truly taking care of yourself and what an awesome opportunity we have being a part of this business to first and foremost be prompted to take care of ourselves so that we can in turn take care of others that are part of our team, that are part of our challenge groups, and even our family or the people around us. So you need to lead by example, take care of yourself, and simply share that both publicly and privately in messages. Now, that's your first step, is to make sure that you're doing that. And that is one of our vital behaviors, is simple, simply being proof of the product. And then another one of our vital behaviors is doing that personal development. Now, the third vital behavior is inviting people. Because if we're not inviting people and we're not building relationships, we have no business. Because this isn't just a health and fitness business. This is truly a relationship business where we get to know people, we identify their needs, and in turn, we're able to help them. Inviting is just scratching the surface of building that relationship. Of course, conversation goes into that, following up goes into that. So what I like to encourage my coaches who are doing this as a hobby or doing this to build a full-time business is to utilize something called a power hour. And um, you can look that up online or if you're part of my team, either one of my personally sponsored coaches or you're in my downline, feel free to reach out to me and I can get you connected with that resource. But I wanna touch base on the power hour and what each of the activities are within that tracker that you should be doing every day if you are trying to build a business. Now, the power hour consists of, like I said, 10 activities and hopefully should only take you an hour every day to complete. You can set a timer and work against the clock. You just need to be focused, silence your phone, get rid of distractions so that you can make the time that you're committing to your business count. If you do these 10 activities on a daily basis, very consistently over time, you won't be able to help but grow your business. First and foremost, you need to be adding three people a day as a contact on whatever social media platform that you use. Now, I wouldn't recommend just randomly adding these friends on Facebook or Instagram. I would recommend having some sort of common interest. Now, you can add mutual friends um, through friends that you already have on Facebook if it looks like someone that you could really connect with. Or another option would be to join special interest groups on Facebook, whether you're a dog mom, a blogger, maybe you're um, a breastfeeding new parent and you're joining those groups and you notice that you're connecting with people as you're being active in there, you can add contacts um, to your social media through groups like those as well. So that's your first step is to add three people a day to your social media contact list. Number two is to start five new conversations a day. And again, don't overcomplicate this. Keep it very simple. And these messages don't have to be regarding Beachbody. In fact, I'd rather you start conversations with people about other things in their life. Ask about their family. Ask about their job. Ask about the things that they do for fun, their hobbies or their special interests. Um, ask about things where you can form some sort of bond um, and learn about each other so that eventually you can identify needs and down the road you can invite them. But make sure you're starting five new conversations a day. Keep them simple. Hey girl, I saw such and such on your page um, and wanted to let you know I appreciated the resource or wanted to ask you a question, something along those lines. Number three is to invite. 
And I would tell you that you should be shooting to invite three people a day uh, to your challenge groups or to become a member of your team as a coach. As a minimum, I would say five of your invitations throughout the course of the week should be to coaching. But you can decide which invitations those are. But on a daily basis, you should be inviting three or more people a day to join you in a challenge group. Number four is to check into your challenge groups. Our challenge groups are so important. This is where we build long-term relationships with people, where we educate them on the products, where we walk with them through their programs, and we create people who are passionate about what we do also and want to either be long-term customers and advocates of what we're doing or who will decide to coach. But you need to make sure that you plug into that challenge group not only as a participant, but as an encourager and as a coach on a daily basis. Number five is to respond to personal messages. So when you're doing your other steps of your Hey Girl messages, reaching out to people about non-beach body things, and inviting people to groups, once you get to this step, this is the time during your power hour where you can start to respond to those messages wherever you left off previously. So take this time to respond to personal messages on Facebook, your messages that come through your email, and whether you use any other social platforms to check those as well. Number six is to connect with your coaches. If you don't have any coaches, take this opportunity. Um, if you'd like to go back and follow up for um, any messages that you've sent out to invite people to coaching, but if you do have coaches on your team, even if it's just one or two, take the opportunity to either be present on their social media, giving them a like or a comment, or sending them a message if they've done something really well, a voice memo, um, or something along those lines. Provide Number seven is to check into your coach Facebook page. Now, again, if you haven't created one specifically for your team yet, that's fine. But what you need to do is you need to check into your personal mentor or your uplines coach page so that you can be aware of any trainings that are available, any resources that they've shared, and just be a part of the community. There is no better way to groom leadership skills than to develop those inside of your coach's page. That is a place where you can not only take and utilize resources, but you can share your personal development. You can be a light of positivity. You can encourage people to be resourceful and solution oriented. So plug into that page, whether it is your own, your uplines, or both on a daily basis. Number eight is to check into your coach training, whether you are a participant yourself or whether you're the hosting coach. Take this time to see if there's a daily assignment that you need to complete or if um, someone has shared a resource or if you are the hosting coach, if you can answer any questions from your participants or hold them accountable on uh, participating on a daily basis. Number nine is to check into your coach online office. This won't take long, but it is very important that you do on a daily basis. You need to look at your coach breaking news to see if there's anything noteworthy there for you to put on your calendar. You need to also look to see if any new coaches have enrolled in your downline or if any customers have been assigned to you or purchased through you recently. If so, you need to be checking this daily so that you can send them a welcome email right away so that they know they are on your radar. And then last but not least is number 10, which is scheduling your posts for the next day. And not everyone actually schedules their posts. You can use certain third-party resources in order to schedule onto your social media. But uh, if you don't schedule your posts, you at least need to be organized with your posts for the next day. We're all very busy people, but we wanna make sure that our presence on social media is a priority. So go ahead and get some of your posts in order for the next day, whether that's an invitation, a quote that you want to share, a lifestyle photo, something along those lines, and make sure that they're either on your phone where you can access them from work or on the go, or have them ready on your laptop or desktop so that you can post them uh, during the day, regardless of how busy you are, so that you can maintain your presence on social media. So that's it, that is your power hour. Those are 10 very important things that you can work on on a daily basis and stay consistent with in order to grow your business. I know that as a new coach or a recommitting coach, it can be very confusing and overwhelming when you see all of the groups and you're just trying to keep a mental checklist of the things that you need to be doing every day. However, if you follow uh, the Power Hour or a tool like the Power Hour, 
All of those things you will get to at some point on this checklist. And this way you can attack these daily tasks in a very organized, methodical way so that you don't feel overwhelmed. You know that you're getting everything done and if you work against the clock, you can really honor your family time or honor your free time while still working on your business. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out and let me know. I'll be happy to help you. But I just want to remind you confidently that this Power Hour tool has worked for so many other coaches, including myself, who have been building a business despite a demanding job or multiple jobs, going to school, juggling family, juggling other life responsibilities. So if you will commit to this, give it six months, give it a year, whatever it is, stay consistent. That's what's important. Be patient, stay consistent, and watch your business start to grow. Good luck, you guys. And again, if you need to access the Power Hour but you can't find it on Google, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll get you connected. Good luck.